Hey folks, Jess Bachman here from Visually, and I'm going to show you a quick and easy way that I use to create bubble charts in Photoshop. And uh, bubble charts are, they can be a real pain for designers to use, and they're actually done incorrectly um, a lot of the time. And first I'm just going to show you how they're done incorrectly. So what someone will do is they'll create uh, a bubble like this, and then they'll say this is going to be one million <clears throat> and what they'll do is they'll take this and then uh, they'll duplicate it and then resize it up to 200 percent because one million is 100 percent and two million is 200 percent all right so they'll get something that looks like this and they'll call that two million <clears throat> now this is totally incorrect way to do it for sure you uh, you don't want to do that at all. That's that's not the way it's done. That's not the way area works. That is done more often than it should be, and it's uh, it's definitely not right. So you know how would you create this bubble chart? Well, you know one method is what you to do is you'll take your one million and you'll say the uh, diameter is 67 pixels, and then you'll use your um, area thing and then you'll do well 67 divided by 2 is the radius and then you multiply that by uh, you'll square that and then you multiply that by 3.14 is pi so then you get the area and if you want to do 2 million you gotta multiply that by 2 and then you gotta reverse the formula and that's just a pain in the ass too and uh, I hate doing that so this trick that I'm going to show you right now doesn't use this info screen it uses the histogram screen so let's uh, let's get rid of this stuff so I'm gonna start off by creating a large circle and I, I just I generally use this as my sort of base circle uh, then I'm going to duplicate that and then let's say I'm going to create my 1 million circle and say it's like this here it is that is 1 million uh, that's going to be used for a base and if I if I control or Apple click on this preview window in the layer screen it selects the entire layer and I'll see in the histogram function it shows the number of pixels in there and it looks like it's 2,786 pixels now uh, 2,786 now to get 2 million all I have to do is multiply it by that and I have 5,572 so what I'll do is I'll take my base again I'll highlight that and I get the total pixels for here it's 143,000 but I'm trying to get down to 5,572 and you see when I resize it while it's selected it's going to change the number of pixels in there and uh, you know, to get precise, you might have to zoom in a little bit. Uh, just keep sort of trialing an error until I get uh, five, five, seven, two, or thereabouts. Now, when you get down to uh, this sort of fine grain, you, it's really going to be imperceptible differences. I'm at five, five, eight, six, and that's close enough for me. So there we have my two million. And this is actually the correct way to do it. This is 1 million in area. This is 2 million in area. And that's the way it works. And if I were going to do, uh, let's say, you know, 10.5 million, what I would do is I'd take the area here, 2786, 2786, multiply it by 10.5 million. And I'm looking for 29253. So I'll take my base again, highlight it, and then get it down to 29253 uh, or thereabouts. And this would be 10.5 million. <coughs> now, uh, that's the quick way to do it in Photoshop. But um, now this, you know, this is easy. It can be done for circles. However, um, when you're using non-standard shapes, like let's say you have uh, this Twitter bird or something, now it's real hard to get the area of this, but 
by using some formula it's practically impossible however um, Photoshop will do it for you in the histogram thing so I'll take my Twitter bird base I'll multiply it and I'm just gonna uh, resize this bird down and let's say you know this is one million tweets right here and if I wanted to fi find <coughs> let's say 10.5 million tweets what I would do is I'd get the area in pixels of this it's 6576 multiply it by 10.5 and I'm looking for 69,000 pixels so I'll take my big bird select that and size it down to 69,000 pixels. Uh, 57, 62, there. So if you just want to mix it up, you don't want to use bubbles, you want to use something else, that's totally possible. So I have 1 million tweets right here. This is 10.5 million tweets. Uh, it's quite accurate and it's the quickest way that I know how to get the area of non-standard shapes. Uh, using Photoshop in particular. Now there's one thing you kind of have to pay attention to um, in Photoshop using the histogram function. Let's say you have a uh, rather large circle like this. Um, we'll see here this is 221,000 pixels. Uh, if we make that a bit larger it goes up to about uh, 300 something thousand and then you'll notice that it just drops so right here we're at 308,000 323 pixels we'll increase a little bit and it just drops down to 79,438 so what it actually does is it's taking 79,438 and it's quartering it we multiply it by 4, we'll get the total pixels here is 317. So when you get above a certain size, Photoshop will then just quarter the pixels. So that's something to, uh, to keep in mind there. But that is the quick and dirty method to get your area and bubble charts accurate and uh, looking good. Thanks.